in this lecture i will discuss moment 3 3 shear 2 2 in beams and columns uh, or either moment 2 2 or shear 3 3 how it works first of all i will explain from a basic example the examples which we do in our undergrad or graduate level uh, for example here is a beam and we uh, analyze these problems in 2d system means uh, x and y and the third axis is out of the plane means towards me okay you can see the third axis is here now x y or z so this is a beam when we apply the equilibrium conditions we basically apply three equilibrium conditions if any horizontal force is acting then you uh, the resistance force if uh, here is a fixed force from here so that is summation fx all the horizontal forces in the x uh, positive x direction should be equal to negative x direction so that is a summation fx uh, the first equilibrium condition in 2d system the second equilibrium condition is summation fy all the vertical forces acting downward should be uh, equal to the upward reaction forces so so that is the y okay that is second equilibrium condition uh, that is summation fy so the third the moment uh, the moment so here you will see when the beam try to deflect it deflect in this shape here downward okay but what the third equilibrium condition here you can see the moment about a so basically when this beam is deflect then this beam is deflecting basically around the z axis okay for example here i will uh, point uh, pick this location then beam tries to deflect around this point even this beam all the beams in 2d system the third equilibrium uh, basically the books do not write the proper way uh, most of the books here in this example same way so the third equilibrium condition is about z axis all the moments should be equal in about three axis for example the moments acting in this direction for example moment acting in this direction should be equal to this direction or if the moment acting in this direction then the uh, the resistant moment should be acting in this direction okay so all the moments are acting about z axis z axis is out of the plane so these are the three equilibrium conditions summation fx summation fy and third is summation mz okay you got the point but in e tabs here in the e tabs you can see uh, the global axis are x y and z in the plan in the plan are x y and the third axis in the vertical direction that is a global axis but e tabs uh, for the analysis of beams uh, uses local axis local axis uh, i have explained in the previous lecture so for the beam the local axis for the beams local axis in beams the local axis along the x is 1 means along the length of the member is 1 along the vertical direction that is 2 and out of the plane uh, and the out of the plane the third axis is 3 means in the e tabs the local axis are 1 two and third is out of the plane so now uh, if you want to take the uh, see the moments you have to see the moment about three axis the three axis is outward so that's why uh, in the e tabs uh, for the checking of moments in beams we see the moment 3 3 means moment about three axis because one two or if we want to see the shear shear basically act in the plane where the forces is acting that is a y so that's why we see the uh, shear 2 2 that is uh, will come in the uh, two plane again one axis is along the length two is vertical and the third is out of the plane okay so for checking the moment we have to see moment 3 3 and for the shear moment 2 2 so let's see here is a model i will run analysis okay the local axis of each member is same uh, of each beam member is same 
okay for example if this is a beam then along the length one along the vertical two and about and the third axis that is z uh, that is three axis local axis okay now the analysis is complete now i will go display in the force slash stress diagram here frame forces here i will for example if simple the dead load gravity load is acting okay so definitely uh, as i have explained in this example one two and three axis so for checking the moment i have to see the moment three three here apply you can see the moment diagrams are looking very good for example if i want to see here is the one elevation one applies okay so you can see here in the uh, center there is a positive bending moment at this spot there is a negative bending moment positive negative so all the bending moments okay now in the 2 2 direction you will not see any moment in beams okay you can see almost negligible zero in the beams okay uh, you can again see elevation applies okay in the beams you will see not any moment okay so similarly if we want to see the shear in beams so here display force then we have to see shear 2 2 why shear 2 2 1 2 and third out of the plane in the two axis uh, definitely shear will come in the beams so that's why we have to see shear 2 2 apply so here you can see the shear force in each member here you can see in beams shear force 2 2 okay so here 1 2 and 3rd is out of the plane okay so so for shear we have to see two shear 2 2 and for moment moment 3 3 okay so uh, now what about columns okay first you have to understand the uh, local axis of the column local axis of the column is along the height means along the length of the member column for example here let me take the paint okay so here is the column okay so what about the local axis in column one along the length and if i make the cross section of this uh, column so so sorry for poor drawing along the x axis is two and along the uh, y axis that is three okay here in the 3d model along the length of the column means along the upward that is a one along this direction that is two along this direction that is three means along the x-axis two along the three uh, y direction that is three means one two three axis so definitely so again in 3d model if i want to see the shear in columns then we see the shear in both directions because if the forces is acting in the in the three direction then the shear will come in three direction and if the force is acting in the x direction then the shear will come in the a two direction okay so again the forces will come in the both here shear three three okay you can see shear three three in the in this direction okay in the three axis now shear two two in this direction okay so beam in beams also present so that's why appearing in the beams so axial forces that will definitely come in the columns apply so that's how you can see the axial forces the moments definitely if your uh, load is coming in this direction and beams tries to bend in the two axis then the moment will be 3 3 here in the beams both moments will come moment 2 2 and moment 3 3 okay beam can be bent in this direction and in this direction apply here you can see the moment values is also coming 
apply here the moment values is also coming so that's how you the beauty function that is uh, very good sorry that is torsion software also calculate the torsion if any in in any beam is coming apply sorry torsion apply okay you can see torsion how much torsion is for example here the, in the edge beams more torsion apply okay and here where the shear wall the torsion is coming in the edge beams torsion is coming so you can see the torsion and the one more beautiful function you can again just right click on beams you will see the detail diagrams you can move the cursor and get the values okay at, at any location you can put the distance by by yourself which show maximum you can see up uh, as per your requirement here again moment 3d just right click okay here shear moment and you can move at any point you can also see the deflections in the beams so that's how moment 3 3 and moment moment uh, 2 2 shear 2 2 shear 3 3 works in e tabs so that's all have a nice day